yellow. Ugh, so I unexpected stretch. Sorry about that. Because <laughs> at first I was about to say, hey guys, but then I'm like, oh, stretch. Oh, oh yeah. Hey guys. <laughs> hey guys, how you guys doing? Welcome to episode 38. A bit's a matter of fact. I'm your host, Matt the Funny Man. If you don't know who I am, I'm that guy who uploads videos on the internet. Let's go, baby. Back to back weeks. We're getting better with our uploading schedule. Podcast once a week. Let's go. My mental health is improving. <laughs> no, plus I have a, a delicious, somewhat delicious iced coffee sitting right next to me. So that is good. Um, not that much in the news for the most part. Actually, while I'm talking to you guys, let me pull up all my shit that I need, because, you know, I didn't... I didn't actually prepare. But, all in all, everything's been fine in my life since the last episode. Everything's been going good. New job is good. Um, not really any... No anxiety, like the, uh, the security job gave me. Because, goddamn, I... I said this before and I say it again. I never want to fucking experience that feeling ever, ever again. Not even not even in the next life. If reincarnation's a thing, no, don't don't give it to me. I don't want it. <clears throat> but um I've except for like one ASM, I guess. I mean, it's, it's different. I call them that because that's what I'm, I'm used to calling. Because, you know, you have the store manager, you have the assistant store manager, then you have the floor person, then you have the, you know, the supervisors. I met them all except for uh, the ASM because I guess it's, um, it's the store manager, then there's the ASM who I haven't met. Uh, I met the floor supervisor. Um... Very nice lady. Very nice. Then um, I met the other super lead supervisor of the front end, I guess. It's a very small store, so the whole place is technically the front end. <laughs> but everyone seems nice. Everyone's treated me very, very good. You know, no red flags or anything. Everyone seems to be fair. You know, everyone... You know, little little play-alongs here and stuff there. A little joking around. I'm like, okay... Good vibes, good vibes by all. But other, so far it's just, it's been great. No, no complaints really. For the most part, the only thing I'm that's kind of negative right now is because since I don't have a schedule yet, because I'm still in quote unquote training. I have to wait for the store manager to text me to say, hey, man, you're coming in this time, between this time and this time. Because, you know, you have to do the whole watch, sit in the office and watch videos all day and shit. Well, I had to do that for three days. I'm assuming that the store manager thought I was going to get him done in two. <laughs> this this is Matthew we're talking about, though, guys. But the, the whole video thing, all right, I'm going to comment on this. This is why I said, I'm, you know... Whenever I'm currently working at a job, or I'm currently employed, I'm not going to say any names. But, super anti-union. Like, it was literally a whole ten and a half minutes of, like, what you should do if a recruiter comes in to, like, get your signature. And how, like, legally binding it is for you just signing up to get a union and all that type of shit. And the... <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be completely honest. Thankfully, no one came into the office while I was watching that portion of my training videos because I was fucking dying. Now, alright, we're going to we're gonna get slightly political, alright? I don't really like to get political too much because it's not really that much shit to talk about. And, and it's like, you can joke about it, but fuck, man, it's going to lead to arguing and I don't have the... I'm 31, guy. I'm going to be 32, in like three months, actually no, two months, actually no, one month, holy shit, it is fucking February, holy fuck, guys, I'm getting old, shit, 
fuck me. Wow. Just, sorry, it's just, I had a that's so raven moment when, you know, close with my eye and I've seen it in the future. I'm like, fuck, man, what the fuck? And, yeah. <laughs> I don't have that much time left, guys. <laughs> I'm going to be 32. <laughs> I've got, like, what, like another 30 years left in me? <laughs> hey, guys, welcome to episode 80. Because, see, that's the joke, because my shitty uploading schedule, I'll be 80 when episode 80 comes, alright. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so back to, back to the topic at hand. I'm all for unions, because, you know, there are some people who work at jobs who don't get a voice in said situations, and... Employers, you know, they're like, oh, unions are a waste of time and, and money and, 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 and a third party shouldn't be in our business, you know, that type of shit. But I feel like employers should probably not think that way because sit down and think about it. Why are unions, why do they exist? Never think about that. Like what, what made someone say, hey, I'm being treated unfairly, you know, let's just start a fucking organization. To combat against these pieces of shit. Or people that are being treated unfairly. Or in the minds of anti-union employers, they're like... So they mean to tell me there's a group of people hiding in the underground bunker doing the fucking Mr. Burns finger thing. You know, tapping each of their fingers. Going, <laughs> why don't we just take the employee's money and then just take their money? Because <laughs> that, that, that's... I mean, I'm, I'm basing this because this is my first, well, not my first, I would say, like, maybe my second video I've seen. First one I saw, I think, was, like, the Amazon anti-union thing that that was going around or whatever. Because when I worked at Burlington, there was no anti-union videos or anything like that. There was never anything about, like, hey, you know, you shouldn't, you know, there was no nothing about, like, hey, avoid union shit. Like, it was never brought up. Even though Burlington isn't union, or at least that I know of in the state of Nevada, there's no unions for Burlington, but I never came across, I don't recall, I mean, this is also six years ago, so who the fuck, if I'm gonna remember, but I don't recall coming across any anti-union shit, my current job did, and I said my current job did, did, <laughs> I can't speak English today, alright, I've only been up for like two hours, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna, it's, it takes a little longer for, for the gears to start rolling. But the whole, but the whole time I'm watching the video, I'm just sitting there fucking laughing. Now, before I continue on, yes, not all unions are good. There are some unions that can be shitty. Alright. Or they'll defend shitty people. I'll give you a great example. I'm not sure if I've ever talked about this. I may have. Who fucking knows? This is this episode 38. Within this, so just think, just look at the dates between this episode and the previous, and like the first 10 episodes of the podcast. I'm not gonna remember that shit, <laughs> and I'm not gonna watch all 37 episodes of the podcast. Say, did I fucking talk about this? <laughs> so, it had um. A, this is back in my Kurt pushing days, all right. Now, Giant Food is union. I don't re fucking remember the the union codes or whatever, but they were union, and we had a guy with me or like in my group that pushed carts. He would never do any work. He would do like the bare minimum, like two carts, and then go inside and fucking try to get tips from helping people with their bags and shit. And then go behind the store where, like, usually homeless people and shit would hang out and he would sell weed. And get high, too. He would, like, fucking smoke some up and then if, like, anyone's walking by, he'd be like, hey, man, you want some weed? I've seen this firsthand. I ain't say nothing because, number one, I ain't no snitch. And number two, I, fu I fucking mind my own business. I'm like, you know, fuck me. Fucking, he needs to be fucking working, but I'm like, you know, hey, he he's getting his, you know, whatever type of shit. And I 
it wasn't for the Wii, but it was like it was something else that happened. I don't know the whole story. I just know that uh, one of my coworkers was like, "Oh yeah, he got in trouble." And I was like, "Oh for what?" And they didn't know. But he got quote unquote fired. I say that in quotations. Union representative came up and argued with the store manager, I guess, because they were in uh, her office for a while. Three days later, he came back and went back to doing what he was doing. And, of course, you know, 20-year-old Matt was pissed. I mean, I'm 31 now, so it's like I kind of get, you know, I don't know what that guy was going through. You know, he was he wanted to sell some weed on the side to help feed his kids or whatever. Like, I didn't know what was going on in his life. But 20-year-old me was like, fuck that guy. I'm doing all this fucking work, and he's making easy fucking money selling weed and shit, and then he's getting high, and he's not doing his fucking fair share of work. He's a piece of shit. Fuck him. That was 20-year-old Matt, but... More mature, eyes more open, more educated. Matt's like, you know, hey, he's he's trying to get his. It sucks I had to do most of the fucking work, but, you know, whatever. It was an easy job regardless. So, you know, past Matt is like, you know, hey, Union will, will even defend people who don't even do any fucking work. That's the point I'm getting across. So there are some Union... So I can understand, like, employers will get mad about someone who, like... Who doesn't do anything. They like you know milk the clock and all that type of shit. I can understand employers being pissed about that. Because I'd be pissed about that. Like I'm trying to get rid of. I'm trying to fire someone. Who's milking the clock and not doing what they're supposed to do. But then I got a third party telling me. No technically by law 47J45. You can't fucking do that. You know that type of shit. So I can understand that being a headache. But that's like a fucking. Not even a whole percent. That's like half of a percent. Of 99.9 other half percent of, you know. Because my wife's union job fucking helped her out. Not for, like, you know, anything, like, job related, but, like, they're helping... I mean, not just my wife, but, like, when COVID hit, a lot of these hotels had to lay off their uh, their employees. But their union is like, "Uh uh-uh. We see what you're trying to do. You're not hiring anyone back. What you're going to do, before you even post that you're hiring, hire all these people that you laid off before you even post up a help wanted sign. Hire all these people you laid off before you can do that. The employer was like, fuck it. All right, fine. So it's like these people are, quote unquote, laid off. Until hotels on the strip and shit are back to full capacity. Right now they're operating in half because COVID is still a fucking thing and not everyone's traveling. So, shit like that, you know, as far as, you know, everyone's considered all these people that work at these hotels and casinos that are laid off, they're still employed, if that makes sense. You know, they can obviously go off and get other jobs and stuff, but, you know... It's kind of like, how can I, what's an easier way I can put this without explaining this for fucking 20 minutes? I'll just use my wife as an example. Say my wife is at a grocery store, okay, and she's working. At any point in time, like, the uh, a hotel is uh, getting more visitors and shit, and they're like, okay, we're making more money, we have more hours to throw around. Call my wife up. Hey, you want to come back to, hey, you want to come back to work for us? Yes. Okay, start, come back tomorrow morning, type of thing. They have to call her first. Before they can put up that help wanted sign. Now shit like that is 100% is why I like unions. And of course also wage negotiations and shit, you know. It's like, you know, hey, this person's been working for you guys for seven years. Why the fuck is he only making nine something an hour? Oh well, you see. Oh well, fucking nothing. No, this person's been here for seven years. Give him fucking 15. He's been here for seven years. Oh well, I get... No, fuck you. Give him 17. (laughs) So, and of course, how the video went is that, the act, first of all, the actors were fucking terrible. And to be honest, I fucking hate these act. Like, I think they actually genuinely get, they don't even hire actors. They just hire people within the company. Like, hey man, I need you to do this fucking anti, uh, anti-union video for me. Oh, what do I got to say? And he's paying like, hey man, here's a hundred dollars. Oh shit, a hundred dollars. All right. And one of the actors goes, man, I got a family to feed. And if and back when I was working with a union, they took half my check. And I'm like, okay, first of all, they don't take half your fucking check. Now, like I said, again, 
There are some unions that do take a lot out of your check, but that's not all unions. There are some unions that will, uh, I'm trying to think of one. I know there's a union out here in Nevada that they'll take, um, 50 bucks. So like, say if you're, say for example, if you work bi-weekly, which means you get paid every two weeks. So twice a month, uh, I don't remember which union it is. Fuck me. It's at the tip of my tongue, but I can't remember. But for the sake of the argument, there, um, there's a union where you, uh, they take $100 out of your check every month. So if you, want, you know, so you get two paychecks a month. They take 50 bucks out of each of those you know, checks. So $100 a month. And you're getting paid like 16 something an hour. That's not really... I mean, long-term, yeah, that's probably a lot of money, you know, if you do like 100 times... Uh, two times whatever or whatever and if you do the math it's probably a, you know a certain amount but i'm like if you're getting paid a lot and you know 50 bucks you know obviously it's you know hey it's 50 bucks my fucking money but you know you're paying 50 bucks to make sure you know if you get fu you know fired off some dumb shit like i did because i can guarantee fucking t we can use my situation too as a great example the fact that i had to defend myself against a guy off the clock if Burlington was union, I wouldn't have gotten fired. Especially with Nevada being a right to fire state. Which I, I may have covered what a right to fire state is, for, but in case no one doesn't know, it means if you fucking sneeze, they could fire you. No explanation required. Not even a fucking write up. Which makes, see, now since I'm talking about this, this makes me go back and think. If if Nevada's a right to fire state, what the fuck is the point of a write-up if you could just fire me for fucking anything? Then just fire me. I don't know, maybe it's because, like, employers want to, I don't fucking know. It, I'm, look, alright, I don't have employees, so I can't speak as an employer. But, I, I'm, I'm. I'm rambling. But the whole video thing was funny. I got a family, you know, I got, I got a family. To feed. And the whole time that the guy was like, oh, they, they took a substantial amount. How much they take out of your check? How much are you getting paid an hour? I mean, if you're making like fucking seven twenty five an hour and your union's taking like 150 bucks out of your check, yeah, be pissed. Fuck that shit. You know? But if you're making fucking twenty dollars an hour, fuck fucking fifty bucks out of your check shouldn't really be shit, you know. And it just went on to when and I tried to talk to my store manager about it, and, and they said they couldn't do anything about that. And I'm like, well, did you talk to your union rep? Like, th like the whole time of the video, I had too many questions, and I'm like, if I have to question everything that comes out of your mouth, then that means you're probably either lying or just making shit up. There's too many loopholes in the contract that you're reading to me. And, and if you speak out against the union, you'll be labeled as a traitor. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, dude, this isn't fucking Star Trek, bro. Like, you're labeled as a traitor. You question our methods. Like, bro, I'm questioning what the fuck you're telling me right now. <laughs> it's it's just, that, that whole video, I was just sitting there going... Like, just fucking chuckling and shit. Because I'm like, this is... This is... This is their attempt? Like, this is hilarious. And it was like... Unions, uh... Use the, uh, the employees' funds like a billion dollar business. Like, they make, they just make it seem like... Oh, if you're union, it's easy fucking money. Then why the fuck am I working here? I should work for a union. Because you're making it seem like they're making bank for doing nothing. The fuck am I working for you for then? <laughs> That's like I'm in the wrong profession. I need to go work for a fucking union, dude. <laughs> They're making all this fucking money doing nothing. Okay, <laughs> it's such a bad. <laughs> like I see what they're trying to do on their end, but they're making it seem like man. <laughs> it's like Burger King talking shit about McDonald's, where it's like, oh, McDonald's pays you know their employees fucking sixteen dollars, while we pay our employees ten, and and we just think that's not fair. Yeah, it's not fair. Fuck, I'm gonna go work for them. 
it, that it's just the whole thing just had me fucking laughing. Like I was just dying in the office. I'm like, I hope to God no one comes in here because I'm just gonna be. <sighs> oh, it was it was so funny. It it was just too funny. But other than that, um, I did some recovery. Done that before at Burlington and Giant. Because the uh, the floor supervisor was like, oh, what time do you schedule? I'm like, oh, I'm scheduled till 8. And it's like like 6.50 or whatever. And she was like, oh, well, I mean, if uh, if the store manager had you come in for four hours, I don't want to have to send you home early, you know. No one wants to be at work for like only two hours. That's a waste of time. I was like, yeah, I was like, you guys need help with anything here? And uh, the other guy was like, well, I mean, you know, we there's like recovery that's needed in the store because... There's supposed to be a big visit tomorrow. And I was like, I'm good at recovery. I did it at my last two jobs. And she was like, yeah. And I was like, yeah, what area do you need me to help you look good? I can recover. You know, it's easy. And she's like, you've recovered before? And I was like, yeah, my other two jobs, you know, you, you pull everything up front. You face, you know, everything has to face the customer. Yeah, super easy. And you're like, oh, okay, well, f- follow me. You know, and about 7 o'clock, I finished like a, an aisle and a half. Like I did one, like one aisle on both sides and then I... Finished half of one aisle. And I was like, hey, hey, it's uh, 8 o'clock. You want to come take a look real quick before I leave? I, I, don't, I didn't want to, like, just clock out and just disappear on you guys. I want to at least let someone know I'm leaving. She's like, oh, yeah, sure. And you're like, oh, wow, this looks really good. You're fast. I'm like, yeah, this is, this is nothing. This... I was like, you know, hey, if you need someone at night to help, like, recover and shit, you know, hey, I'm I'm all for that. I'm, I'm great with, like, recovering at night when there's not a lot of customers, it's almost therapeutic i think that's why i like i liked closing at burlington is because like if i worked like an eight hour shift i come in like a three or whatever you know, obviously it's busy but like once nine ten eleven o'clocks roll over we're kind of dead not that many customers not that busy and i'm just you know there's no customers walking behind me and people ask me stupid ass questions shit i'm just <laughs> just pull this up front you know you know just it's like it's like putting a puzzle piece together. You have a nice cup of iced tea on the counter. You got your favorite song in the background. You're just fucking you're just vibing, putting a puzzle piece together. That's what it was like for me last night. When I was recovering. Plus it it, it beats fucking picking clothes up off the floor that people just fucking threw everywhere and shit. Hello, Simon. Can you, like, not fucking need while I'm recording, bro? <laughs> We're just having a staring contest right now. <laughs> He's fucking needing next to my fucking seat, and... He's a good boy. He's a good, handsome boy. Simon's been good. I know I haven't really talked about Simon that much, but he's been a very good boy. He's very big. He's a very big tuxedo kitty. Still a shithead, though. I love him, though. He's my little shithead. But finished recovering. She liked the fact that I was fast, and the guy was like, "Man, I could use some more guys because you know, a uh, store manager uses like all the the men for like the morning and the freight, you know. And I'm the only guy here closing. I could really use like a you know another you know big guy here because I guess apparently at night. For, for I mean, I'm not. I mean, I'm only basing this because I haven't met everyone yet because apparently there's a lot of people. But apparently at night it's like girls that are like really short. <laughs> And, you know, not really trained and, like, can't lift heavy boxes and shit. Not saying women that are short can't. Short women can carry boxes, too. But the guy was like, there's not anyone, like, his size. Because, you know, I'm a pretty big husky guy. You know, I can lift a heavy box or two. And he's like, you know, I'm doing a lot of the heavy lifting by myself. If you want, I could tell a store, uh, store manager, you know, I could use, you know, another guy at night. So... I'm not doing all the work. And I was like, yeah, man, for sure. I'll, I'll do closing. Plus, <clears throat> you know, if I do an eight hour shift, two to, you know, 1030, that, that's an easy shift. I got time to record. I got time to, you know, do the podcast and stuff like that and rest before I got to go to work. And, you know, if I got to be to work at two, I don't have to leave the house till like fucking 145 since I pretty much walk to work. So win, win. Plus whatever the fuck gets me away from the goddamn register. Now, the training for the register? Holy fucking shit. I was worried. 
that I was going to have to learn a whole new system because Burlington's system is a lot different because, you know, each individual cashier handles returns, exchanges, etc. and all that. But at the at this job, all I do is scan. Scan and price checks. So if something didn't come up wrong, you know, hit price check, look up the item, make sure, you know, if the price matches or if it's actually something else. Other than that, supervisors and managers take care of all exchanges and returns. They they have to approve it. So if a return, hey, got a return on register one. They come over. They key it in. Take care of it. All right, Matt, go ahead and continue to scan. Nice. Let's fucking go. I don't have to worry about making any type of critical decisions. Like, oh, is this good? I have to validate. Uh, 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 uh. Scan and go. I'm all about that. And with me, you know, departing from Burlington, I was like, man, I just want a job where I can just keep my fucking head down and fucking work because eventually I want to do this full time. Eventually. And another thing that's been coming up in a lot of conversations between me and the wife is that I want to own my own business. Like, if the whole, like, say for example, if I'm just like, alright guys, I'm not going to upload on Twitch and YouTube anymore. I'm, I'm done. I'm retired. <laughs> type of thing. Like, I'm, I'm just done with everything. I just want to open up my own store. Where I, where I sell the MTFM merch and gamer uh, stuff. Just that. Because my wife, um, we used to go to a bookstore to uh, a friend of hers that owned it. Fortunately, it's closed down now. What was it called? Fucking Jenko Books, I think. But uh, her friend had to close it down, I guess, because like they couldn't keep up with the uh, the monthly payments or whatever, and the landlord was a dickhead. Don't quote me on that, because I don't. Fully... This was a conversation that was like a couple days ago. Oh God. Ooh. Hang on. Acid reflexes kicking my ass. Yeah, <clears throat> sorry. Ugh. But she's been like wanting to like open up like her own like little bookstore slash coffee place. And I was like, what if like we just put the ideas together? Like one half's the coffee place and the other half's like my like merch store and shit. And it's kind of like uh I mean I don't wanna say too much because last thing I want to do is post this podcast and like three years down the line someone fucking takes my idea. It makes a billion dollars. Because shit like that happens in my life all the fucking time. Because <laughs> what was it? I was like a fucking kid. I was like, man, there should be a channel for video games. Like six years later, fucking G4 shows. I'm like, what the fuck? That was my idea. <laughs> I mean, for all I know, someone else could have thought about it before I did. Like, you know, who, who knows how long it takes for a fucking channel to, like, get created. Does that make sense? But it'd be something nice to have. I mean, I wouldn't... Shit, I'd probably stream... Being on the store. I guess like the gaming apparel stuff. Get shit custom made for you. Kind of like how Lids is. For those of you who don't know what Lids, it, Lids is, is. It's like a place that like can custom make your hats and shit. That's where I got the Matt the Funny Man hat from. If you've ever seen that hat. Alright now my children are being fucking assholes. I don't, th I don't know if the mic is pick I doubt the mic is picking up. But it's like both my cats are fucking running around the apartment chasing each other and shit. It's... I want to know if I'm the only person that has to deal with this. But if anyone's ever recorded a video or done anything similar to that, and they're like, you know what, it's quiet, let me, let me fucking record something real quick, and your fucking animals just start going fucking ballistic for, like, no reason, it's like they know you're recording, and they want to, excuse me, and they want to start acting up. My cats have been quiet all fucking morning. So, like, a half hour ago, I'm like, you know, I'll record the podcast today, you know? They're quiet, they're laying down, they're sleeping. Now they're just running around fucking going ballistic. It's like, hey, Matt's recording, let's be fucking assholes today. <laughs> I know I, I can't be the only one. I can't. It's like the animals know. He's recording, let's, let's, let's fuck it up, and let's tear it up in the background. So he knows how chaotic his life is. Let's do it. Let's chase each other and meow and shit. Ah, good tasty water. That's the magic of editing. 
first I'm like, man, this is some great coffee. Now I'm like, oh, great water. You guys never even knew I changed it. It's the magic of editing. Hollywood magic, baby. But all in all, I've, I like the job. Does it cause me stress? And the only thing I'm not liking right now is that since I don't have a set schedule yet. Oh, wait, fuck. Did I mention this earlier? See, my brain's gone to shit. I don't fucking remember. But it's like the last couple of days, I want to say like the last three or four days, the store manager has been texting me. I don't remember if I talked about this. You might hear the same thing twice in in, in 30 minutes. <laughs> like, they've been like, hey, come in like four to whatever to come in and do your stuff. So, and normally the store manager has been texting me like around 7.30, like early in the morning. So like, for me to like get prepared. And today the store manager didn't text me. So that, so it, it's, it's like 10 a.m. now as of this recording. And I haven't gotten a text message yet. So it's kind of like, do I have the day off? Do I, do, am I working today? Am I coming to work late at late tonight to recover? What am I doing? That's the only thing I'm not liking right now. Because I'm a plan ahead guy. I like to plan stuff ahead of time, fucking even weeks at a time. Like, hey, if I'm going to do this Monday, I got to fucking do this Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday then. Like, I, I like to have a set plan. Because I hate fucking just freeballing shit. I, I like to. Ha I'm a schedule guy. Because then, if not, my ADHD is going to take over. I'm not going to know what to do. And then I'm going to start to panic. Because there's a lot of shit I want to do today. And I'm thinking like, okay, if I'm off today but I have to work tomorrow, I would like to get it done today. Or, if I'm working today, then cool, I can plan it for tomorrow. I don't like knowing shit. <laughs> So it's like, and I doubt that they're going to have a new guy close. I'm pretty sure they're going to want someone to, like, meet a shadow with. Someone, like, an author like authority person. So if I'm going to be working around people who are, like, you know, high up in the store, I'm, you know, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be working, like, you know, mornings or before closing. I doubt they're going to be like, hey, Matt, your first day, you're going to be uh, closing tonight. You know? I mean, I don't know. That's the thing. I don't know. This is just assumption right now. So it's kind of like between now and like four, I don't know if I'll be going into work today. <laughs> so like within like what? 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. So like be, for like the next six hours, I don't know if I'm working today. <laughs> who, who? I don't want to sit through that. Or at least, you know, get a fucking... I want to at least get a text saying, Hey, man, you don't have to come in today. And it's going to suck if I get that, like, around 4 or 5. Because I'm going to be like, Yeah, I kind of figured. You didn't really have to, you know... And then, last... Another thing about my paranoia is that I don't want to get a text saying, Hey, Matt, where were you yesterday? I'm assuming I'm off cause, because no one touched base with me on coming in. Like, you guys never said, Hey, Matt, you're going to have a schedule. Like, you know... You have to tell me shit. I'm slow. You have to point me in the right direction, you know? And it's like, I'm not going to ask because I don't like to inconvenience people. That's my that's one of my weaknesses. I don't like inconveniencing people. Or like, I don't want to shoot you up a text. And it's also another thing. It's like, if I have an opportunity to get a day off, you know, I'm not going to be the fucking one kid in the class that's like, Weren't we supposed to turn in homework today? Like, I'm not going to set myself up for that. I'm just going to be like, you know, hey, you guys, you know, you text me when to come in. If you don't text me and, and you like, hey, Matt, where were you? I'm like, well, you didn't text me to come in today. And I'm like, oh, shit, you know what? I didn't. You know, I'm not going to. I'm not going to be like, hey, we're, we're going to burn. Pe we're going to set people on fire today. Who's up first? Hey, fucking, I, I got you, bro. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna just do that. <laughs> so, I mean, for the next six hours, I'm gonna be fucking paranoid. I don't know. I might just get sh shit done today, and if I, I mean, I'm gonna be pissed if I'm in the middle of something. Hey, Matt, come in at, at, at five today. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> I, I like to do stuff when I know I don't have to do anything else today. 
Like, even just little shit like, hey, Matt, we gotta run to the store today and go pick up some sugar. Fuck. I can't do nothing today then. Why? Because I, I have, I, I'm gonna be picking up sugar. I can't relax and, and think, oh, yeah, I'm gonna have a, I'm, I'm gonna be in fucking bed or in my chair all day. And relax. No, I gotta fucking pick up sugar today. That's just, just how my brain works. It's weird. I don't know if I'm the only one like this. But it's like, if there's anything I have to do, then I can't do nothing. I, I can't do nothing. I, like, oh, Matt, 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 we don't have to pick up sugar for like another 10 hours. Nope, nope, sorry, we gotta pick up sugar today. Nope. I, I, my brain's like, nope, you can't do nothing today. <laughs> so you guys can already imagine if I'm travel, if I'm, if, like, me going on to the airport. I couldn't even get that out. You see how scrambled I was? Imagine me having to go to an airport. I'm going to lose my fucking mind. Alright. So I had an interesting talk with uh, Pat. <laughs> with Pat. He, he, he's debated about going on the podcast because he says he talks too fast. Like, bro, I don't... Bro, if you talk too fast, that's perfectly fine. I'm speaking gibberish 45% of the time in the podcast. I'm either saying but, um, like, or I'm not saying anything. Or half the time I'm like, yeah, but, duh, but, duh, but, duh. Fine. <laughs> I said, I'm the Paul Mooney to your Richard Pryor. And I'm like, dude, I'm all about it. I'm all about it. You could be the Paul Mooney, and I'm Richard Pryor to the podcast. You send me this shit, and I fucking talk about it. I'm all for it, dude. So I did actually see something, and it's actually going around on TikTok. So there's like a huge, and like me and Preach even noticed this go at the store. Huh. Hi, Simon. He he came in to look at me, then run away. <laughs> Is that there's no there's not a lot of spaghetti items at the store. This isn't on TikTok, but like we've been to like two grocery store or not two grocery stores. We've been to the grocery store and there's only like two types of spaghetti. That's what I meant to say. There's like two different types of spaghetti that are out, but like just regular flat out just regular spaghetti. There's none. And we've been to the store on on two three separate occasions. And it's been like little to no spaghetti and also meat. Meat is, is also an issue, and apparently it's not just us. It's, like, everywhere. There's just, like, some weird meat shortage, and no one is, like, no one knows why. Everyone's just posting TikToks at the store saying, not a lot of meat here. Nothing has been said. I've tried looking up, like, meat shortages and mad cow disease and shit like that. I haven't found anything. I mean, as of February 3rd, I haven't found anything. I mean, I'm for all I know, I might find something after I've done recording this, because knowing me, I'm probably just going to look this shit up after I talk, after talking about it. Well, and I was like, you know, hey, is there a meat shortage? I'm like, okay, I'm not finding anything. All right, well, I mean, guess just fucking no meat Tuesdays or whatever. <laughs> but um, I saw a post on Facebook that just had me fucking cracking up. And then it, it was even funnier when I saw it on TikTok is that someone was like, hey, there's, there's you know, there's, there's no meat in the store. But there's a there's a fuck ton of seasoning still left, so it's like, okay, we know white people are panicking because white people are buying up all the meat, but there's no seasoning. So it's like, it's clearly something's going on that has white people panicking. <laughs> uh, I feel so bad for those households. It's it's why I'm glad I married a black woman. Cause fuck, man. Especially, this is one of the reasons why I'm really glad I grew up where I grew up. Because, man, fucking spices, season all. Do fucking white people, white people that don't use season, you guys are missing out. You guys are fucking missing out on some good quality, tasty shit. And I'm not talking about chilies or Applebee's and shit. No, this is, this is way better. Like, holy shit, man. Fucking, what was it? Pretty sure made a, we got like fucking big pork chops. Like, if you put both of your hands uh, side by side, that's how big the fucking pork chop was. 
put fucking she put some lemon pepper on there. Sprinkle a little paprika. Some regular pepper. God damn it was so fucking good. First time she put those on pork. God damn it it was fucking delicious. A little salt. Fuck. I'm not gonna live to see 40, but god damn this is good. <laughs> And I fucking told her, because this is like after we saw that video of like, you know, people are buying up all the meat with no spices. I was like, fuck man, white people are missing out on some goddamn good quality cooking. Shit. They're just like, no, let's, not, let's just put some mayonnaise and ketchup on it. No, you're missing out, bro. Get some lemon pepper, get some seasonal, get... Fuck, man, at least get some goddamn salt. It's fucking tasty. It's delicious. You're fucking missing out. Yes, white people are panicking. Alright, so... <laughs> fucking... I may have to actually probably screenshot this. Because otherwise it's going to be just... What the fuck is Matt talking about? Is... I'm going to fucking buy this. I'm going to fucking buy this shit, dude. It's a fucking, like, muscle thing. <laughs> it's like that fucking... It's like anchor arms from Spongebob. <laughs> and Patrick was like, now you can get rid of that dad body. <laughs> like, bro, man. Imagine it, like... Because I don't really... I don't post, like, body pics of myself. Because I'm like, you know... Not that I'm like, oh, I'm sensitive about how my body looks. I know, I'm a fat piece of shit. I know that. But, dude, let me fucking buy this... And just post a fucking pic. Like, just lifting my shirt up. People are gonna be like, God damn, man, what the fuck did you do? <laughs> I'm very tempted to see if I can buy these and just post it on fucking April 1st. Just to see if anyone catches on. It's like, oh man, Matt, you look really fucking good. I'm like, bro, April Fools. Gotcha. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Fucking got him. That's great. That'd be great for sketches if I ever go back into sketches or for a fucking TikTok video. Fuck, I'll buy it for that. Ugh, god damn it. I'll, Patrick, where the fuck do you find this shit, bro? Like, I don't know how he finds this shit for me to talk about. I, I don't know if he's just, like, on the internet one day and he just, like, looks up random shit or, like, I don't know. Keep him coming, Pat. So that's another thing he sent me, but I, don't, I guess I don't really have to show video. What the fuck is it called? Oh, God damn it, hang on. I keep... So... Oversized men breast tissue, you know, like man titties. He sent me a a, a video called called Brainol, B R E N O L. It's like a spray you spray on your man tits, and it frames your your chest. It burns extra fat in the chest. So, like you know, if you got some man titty going on. It's supposed to, like, tone your chest up. Body Submarine Firming Spray. So it's supposed to get rid of your man breasts. I'm happy with my man titties. No shame. Especially now because, you know, if someone were to make fun of me because, you know, I got a dad bod, then fuck you, you end up getting canceled. So it's kind of like, eh, I don't need that. I mean... 27 year old Matt would probably be like fuck man I need this for my man titties but now I'm just like fuck man I got man titties I don't give a shit I don't give a fuck let, let me rock my man titties <laughs> but hey man if you need to lose your man titties I, I don't condone it because I don't know what the fuck that shit does buy it at your own risk I'm not a medical doctor I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about I would love for anyone to take any type of advice from me like health advice <laughs> YouTuber Matt the Funny Man getting sued because he said to uh, try this product that makes your man breast go away. What a fucking headline that would be. 
Like, I never told him to say that. I just talked about it. Take it at your own risk. I don't condone it. But, I mean, if you want to spray it, give it to your man titties, and I guess, you know, you could try it. I'm not trying it. Try it at your own risk. I, I don't condone it. Nor am I a doctor. If that's the legal way to say it. Am I using the right legal terms? So speaking of that, there is something I, um, what was it, January 25th? I'm surprised I didn't talk about, actually, what's this, hold on, I gotta look at the fucking calendar, because I, I, I've lost track of time. I thought my birthday was in two months. Was this from the last, last week? Okay, no, this was after, this was like after. Okay, so I didn't bring this up in the last podcast, because I forgot about it. <clears throat> but, I mean, it sucks too because I didn't know, um, this YouTuber, I don't know, I don't feel like clicking the article, because I don't feel like reading this whole fucking thing, but, I guess this person, uh, big YouTuber was talking shit about Cardi B, and, like, doing constant, like, talking, oh, she has flat... I mean, I'm just making shit up, by the way. I don't know if this is actually it. But, you know, just like, you know, talking shit about Cardi B or whatever. And, like, just alleging a bunch of shit. And, like, pat and trying to pass them off as true or whatever. Which is something you never fucking do. That's, that's definitely a no. But when I looked more into the story, she posted, like, 36 fucking videos talking about Cardi B. That, to me, is fucking funny. So Cardi B decided to sue her. And won. Got $1.5 million for defamation lawsuit. And of course, the YouTuber's like, Oh, well, your shit happens. You know, I'm gonna go on with my life. This isn't nothing. And I'm like, yeah, no. Now, see, this is why. Back when I did a lot of rant videos about celebrities. This is why I only made fun of them and talked shit about them. When public shit has been posted that everyone knows about. Like when Chris Brown got robbed. He was posting Instagram photos and videos flashing money and all that shit. And he got robbed and it was posted. News outlets, you know, hey, Chris Brown, he got robbed. This actually happened. He got robbed. Okay, cool. It's been proven that it's happened. It was proven that he was flashing money and shit. I'm gonna talk shit about it. Like the three or four Miley Cyrus videos. Because it was that, you know, fucking every... This was like back in the day when fucking Miley Cyrus was... You know... Trying to be black and shit. Which I still think to this day is so funny. Because she was in all these rap videos. Fucking foam fingers. And, you know, licking her... You know, licking her cooch and all type of shit on stage and all that. And then turn around and says, you know, rap is really vulgar. I did a rant video about that. You can you can scroll down to find that video. But it got down to the point where I'm like... I'm trying to remember how many fucking videos I did of her. I did like three or four videos about Miley Cyrus because she was doing shit every fucking week. By the way, the licking her cooch on stage thing, that, that was a joke. That was made up. See, you gotta be careful what the fuck you say on shit now. Miley Cyrus could be wa listening to the podcast. He's like, oh, he's talking shit about me. He did make those videos. I'm fucking suing him. They were jokes. She never licked her cooch on stage. It was, an, it was an exaggeration. See, you gotta be careful. But yeah, if you ever do rant videos... Now, now this is a piece of advice I can actually give to people. If you start a YouTube channel or TikTok... Or any type of social media platform. Even blogging or vlogging. If you are talking shit about someone. Make sure you got receipts. Make sure the shit is true. Because. You don't want to look like a fucking idiot like this YouTuber did. I forgot what her name was. And like I said I don't feel like clicking all the extra shit to find out. Just to find out a name. Just look up Cardi B winning lawsuit. It'll automatically come up. And then you're going to make 36 videos. I started getting sick of posting Miley Cyrus videos by like 3 or 4. I forgot how many I made. But it was also like at the time where I'm like, fuck, I ain't got nothing else to talk about or rant about. 
Fuck, I'll talk shit more about Miley Cyrus. <laughs> like she's the only one that's been doing dumb shit all every week. So, please make sure it is public knowledge. I literally posted this on Facebook. This I I'll I'll I'll, I'll repeat it to you guys. This is why I when I do rant videos on YouTube about celebs, it's dumb shit that they did and it's public knowledge. Also, I wouldn't have made 36 videos on one of them. Like, if I just kept continuously uploading videos to this day talking shit about Miley Cyrus and to the point where I'm just making up shit, 100% I deserve to get slapped with a lawsuit. Because you can have your own opinions about celebrities. You could say, like, yeah, Nicki Minaj, yeah, I think her ass is fat. She got that Botox surgery and fucking, you know, in a sketchy basement and shit, you know. You could say, I think. Because how you say shit, it can be interpreted as like, oh yeah, you're spreading, yeah, you're spreading false information about me. Yeah, I'm fucking suing you for defamation. Well, I, I didn't mean it. Like, no, you didn't say, you flat out said, I got ass implants in a basement, which is not true. I went to a, a registered doctor, <laughs> someone with a PhD, someone who's trained in the medical field for this. <laughs> it's shit like that you can get sued for. That's why when, you know, hey, breaking news, this happened. Okay, I'm going to talk about that and only that. I'm not going to put my own spin on shit. Now, you can make jokes. You can make jokes. Like, oh, well, I think they did that. You know, I think. I don't believe, but maybe. You got to be careful and you have to say shit a certain way. Because it can get turned around on you, taken out of context. It can be used against you, you know. That's why, you know, when you're getting arrest, arrested, cops are like, you know, anything you say can and will be used in the court of law. So, you know, if you tell a cop, hey, I'm going to fucking break in your house and fuck your mom, that will be used against you in the court of law. Like, oh, well, you know, you did say you were going to fuck that, you know, the arresting officer's mom. You know, allegedly you were going to try to break and enter and, you know, escape prison and, and fuck that guy's mom. Yeah, but I'm not gonna, but you said you were. It, it, it's shit like that. You gotta be careful what the fuck you say, especially if you're gonna make 36 videos about somebody. I can talk about this all fucking day. <laughs> it's like... Seriously. That is a prime example of ranting, and be careful how you rant. That's why. You can do it, but make sure it's public knowledge. If it's not public knowledge... If it's not public knowledge, but you have receipts, then I mean you're you're kind of teeter tottering a little bit, you know. Unless someone's like, you know, hey, this is an example. Hey, I saw Matt fucking a horse. Matt fucks horses. What? No, he doesn't. I'm gonna sue you. Oh yeah. Here's the video of you fucking a horse. Post post the video of me fucking a horse. Oh shit! I don't know. Fucking, I can't see you. Fucking, there's the video of me fucking a horse. I can't fucking see you because it's true. Matt the funny man fucks horse. <laughs> you know, so if you got receipts, then you're good. You know, it's can't. It's not like you know you're just making shit up. You know, like, yeah, Matt fucks horses. No, I don't. You got proof? No. Fucking, I'm suing you then. You're talking shit. You know. It's hurting me. I'm losing sponsors, fuckface. So, be careful. That, if anyone wants to ask me for advice, that's some, I, that's some good advice I can give you. But other than that, that's about it. I'm kind of glad I talked about this, because, like, after I uploaded the podcast, I was like, fuck, I forgot to talk about that. Matt, rem like, I had to set up my Echo to remind me today to talk about shit. Like, Matt, <laughs> I was like, Echo, set a reminder. What's the reminder for? Talk about the lawsuit with Cardi B. <laughs> so, like, when I was setting everything up, I'm reminding you. I'm like, oh, yes, thank you, Echo. 
Everyone can talk shit about how the Echo and Amazon spies on you and shit, but god damn it, this thing's helpful as fuck because I don't remember nothing. I'm gonna need like 20 Echoes when I'm old and I don't remember shit. And like my wife's not around. What was I supposed to do today? Here's your reminder. Watch TV. Oh, fuck. There you go. Okay, I was supposed to watch... <laughs> The fucking 100th season of The Price is Right is on. <laughs> I'm going to need an echo in the kitchen, one in the bedroom. And they all have to set to the same time. I remind you, I remind you, I remind you, right? Reminding you, reminding you. It's just like an echo going throughout the whole house. Watch TV, watch TV, watch TV, watch TV, watch TV. <laughs> oh, God. It, it, like, just because of, like, the mental issues I have... It's like I'm scared to get older, but at the same time, I'm like, I can't fucking wait. I'm, I'm going to, like, fucking forget shit and experience stuff all over again, like, twice a day. I'm going to forget how to poop, and then when I actually do poop, I'm like, oh, this is fucking amazing! <laughs> it's like I'm looking forward to it, but at the same time, oh, fuck, man, this is going to be a stressful old life. <laughs> I forgot how to wipe! Oh my god, this is how you wipe! It's just like to re-experience it all over and over again every day <laughs> oh shit oh god what what a life this has been man <sighs> i hope you guys enjoy yourselves again I hope everyone's having a great year i know the last two years have been 100 percent shitty and you know my heart goes out to any of you guys that are going through shit. And again, man, if you're going through some shit, man, fucking, it, it's nothing wrong with asking for help. There's 100% nothing wrong with it. Fucking, I, I, you know, I hate to bring up this shit again because it's like, I mean, I'm not going to get triggered again or anything, but <clears throat> I was in a really, really dark, you know, hole at that point in time in my life. And it's like the deepest hole I've ever been in. And I'm like, fuck it. I reached out for help. There's nothing wrong with it. You're not going to get bullied. And if you get bullied, fuck those bullies. They're pieces of shit and they're going to fucking... I hope they get a shovel stuck up their ass. There's nothing wrong with asking for help. Especially if you're in a fucking dark place in your life, man. Fucking go ask for some help. I fucking did it because... I was like, man, I don't fucking need help. Like, oh, like, oh, you need a therapist. I don't fucking need a therapist, man. Like, what is talking to someone going to fucking do? Fucking, I call that crisis hotline, man. Fucking felt felt like a million dollars. It felt good talking to somebody, you know? So, again, I, I can't stress this enough. Now that I've actually ex really experienced it, reach out for help, man. Please do it. Or if you know someone that might be in that dark hole, say, hey, man, you want to talk about it? Or just, like, you don't even have to talk about it. Just, like, be there. You don't even have to say none. Like, if you know if someone's, like, you know, in that dark place, just fucking hang out with them. Just sit next to them and just vibe. And it's like, you know, hey, man, what are you doing here? I'm like, man, I'm just here for you, bro. Just, I'm just vibing with you. Just, I'm just hanging out. All good. We ain't got to talk about none. We can just sit here fucking, hey, dude, you want to watch a movie? Just hang out? Yeah, sure. Fuck. Do that, man. Love everyone's doing well. Hope you guys are doing good. You kids take care. You take care of your kids. Make sure you pack a school lunch. And shit. And buy some merch. Buy some merch if you're in a... No, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I haven't did a sell out uh, I might as well do it at the end because uh, I've, I've been rambling for like the last hour so it's like fuck I gotta plug them all buy yourself some merch all the links and everything down TikTok, Twitter, follow me and all that stuff you know all that's gonna be down in the description you, you click everything all around here you see on your screen click that stuff and um, I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode